So this is Vern. Um, he's actually a professional figure skater, and he's had trouble with repeated irritation of his toenail. If you can tell that the toenail itself is quite dystrophic, but he also has clearly a um, medial ingrown that's here. Um, there's a number of different procedures you can use to fix this. Um, there's an older, not older procedure, but a very good procedure called the Van Boss procedure, where you would actually take all this granulation tissue out. You cut down through here and loop it back up to the nail, and all of this is taken out. It works very well. The only thing I don't like about it is the more tissue you take out, the more pain the patient will have afterwards. So I tend to stay away from it, and I find the traditional procedure with a little bit of a twist on the end of it functions well, and I usually don't see to, need to see patients back again. So first and foremost with these, we have to do a digital block, and if you can see, the reason why his toe is so purplish is because I've done a digital block up through here. Now typically you can get away with three to five cc's of xylocaine, and just as a, as a note, um, through the toes and the fingers we use xylocaine without epinephrine because they have end artery supply, and if you use epinephrine it'll collapse those arteries down and you can cause some localized necrosis. So we use it without epinephrine, and in these cases I tend to use more on purpose just because it also causes this sort of clamping down of pressure and helps with hemostasis to a certain extent. So this is now completely frozen. So what we'll be doing is we're going to go underneath the nail and take out the lateral third. And then where normally the older procedure was with this is you wouldn't leave, you wouldn't touch the nail matrix because you didn't want to affect growth. I actually want to affect the lateral aspect of the nail matrix, so I'm going to cauterize with a hyfricator with a fair amount of currency into it to see if we can damage the lateral border so it doesn't quite grow so laterally. And I find that that procedure works quite well in these cases. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to go underneath the nail bed. Now this will be harder because this is so dystrophic. So getting through this will be a bit of a challenge. So you want to cut down to your right underneath the cuticle. And then you'll take your pickups and with the beveled side up just so it doesn't scrape on the skin underneath and catch on things. I just want to go underneath it to see if we can break down adhesions and clear that out. It's hard to see with all the blood. Mm. And I'll just grab some needle drivers. we can get under that nail bed. You okay? Yeah. Burn, no problems? So the nail part's out now. So now all I want to be doing is taking the cautery and I want to cauterize the lateral border. And when you're doing this, you just gently raise it up and down so it doesn't adhere to the tissues. State, I'm just cleaning up a couple areas. And so if we do this properly, it won't grow so far lateral, so you won't have this trouble again. Now I do a lot of these, and I tell you I probably see about 85% will clear with this and we'll never have to see them again. Another 5 or 10% will actually require a second procedure. And then the remaining 5%, those are the ones where I would do the Vandenbos procedure and I would take the tissue right out. But I'll tell you in my career now, over the last 20 years, I've done that maybe twice. So this lateral aspect is now cauterized. And while it may look a little bit messy, you can see that the nail margin stops here. And this is all clear now. And even though this is a little bit dystrophic, he shouldn't have it grow quite so lateral and he should be comfortable with that. And that's it.